Hello class, welcome to CIS 170, Java 1 for the fall 2019 semester. I'm glad you're here. Your course, CIS 170, is specifically involved in Java syntax. We'll be looking at some beginning things. We'll be using NetBeans as a development tool that hopefully we'll have an opportunity to explore some of the many, many development tools available for Java. We'll be using Hypergrade as our source code control area and to validate your output from your programs. So I will tell you all about it in another video. And we'll be doing projects as assignments so that you get an opportunity to get that hands-on Java experience that will help you be a great software developer. My name is Renee Riley, and I'm your instructor this semester. This is my resume at a glance slide. You can see at the top are some of the companies that I've worked for, and on the bottom are some of the certifications that I hold. Um, I hope to use my experience to help you so that you can attain a, a great career in this field, which is a really good field to be working in. As far as me, I do a lot of teaching. <laughs> so I did some teaching this summer and I did do some gardening. So I really like my pretty flowers and I was able to have a great time. I'm missing them already. As far as technically, I'll be teaching a blender class this semester. I really like that. I haven't had an opportunity to teach 3D, anima 3D animation for a few years, so I'm excited about that. I think that VR and AR are the future for us, and I'm sure um, some people would argue with me, but that's okay. We, we won't know until the future gets here, right? And I really enjoy working with Unity and C Sharp, and I love the way Unity expands the abilities of C Sharp to make us be able to do wonderful awesome things. Now we're gonna take a look at the syllabus, so you're gonna to need to read through it. And as you do, pay really important attention to all of this information. And you do have a syllabus quiz online that is due next Tuesday night. All of our assignments will become available to you on Monday of the week, and the assignments would be due the following Tuesday night. If you are ever in a situation where my OTC is down, you can actually access Canvas directly through this URL, otc.instructure.com. So don't let my OTC keep you from getting your work done. Some other things before we get into Canvas, you'll notice in our modules that there are several extra credit assignments. Um, one of those is for going to a networking event like a meetup, you know, any sort of thing where you're getting an opportunity to meet some other people. For that extra credit, you'll just want to take a selfie and submit that assignment. Tell me a little bit about the event that you went to. And then another opportunity to get extra credit is to join Skills USA. And this summer, OTC made a pretty darn good showing at Skills USA Nationals. We took the gold medal, or first place, in computer programming. Our student that did that contest was just outstanding. And we also took the gold medal in web dev. So we've never gotten a gold medal in that contest before. So whoa, look out, OTC. You know all of those colleges on the East Coast are wondering where in the world is Springfield, Missouri. But you guys know, and it's gonna be great for you to learn all of those things too. Now, we're going to be using this semester Discord to communicate, and probably um, you may have used it before. If you haven't, it's pretty easy to pick up. You won't have much trouble. We do ask that you create a Discord account so that you can communicate with the rest of your class and department, so it can be really helpful for us. Um, some other things that apply to you before class doesn't really matter because you won't be sitting in the class. But as far as allergy info, I am fighting um, the evil alpha gal, one of those tick-borne allergies that makes you allergic to all red meat. You might have heard of the terrible thing. People laugh about it and stuff. Well, it ain't funny, I tell you that. And sometimes it really knocks me down. So I always try to get back to my students as soon as possible. But if you don't hear back from me, remember, I could be, you know, incapacitated. So that's why I want you to be sure and use Discord for questions and problems and things like that.
Okay, so as we get to Canvas here, on the main instructor screen, you can see we've got information about my office hours, my standard Zoom URL. If we decide we're going to have a, a Zoom meeting together, I'll email that to you, but it, you can always find it here. Um, all sorts of resources from OTC, all that great stuff. So I'm going to click on modules to begin. And the first thing you should see is the syllabus and scope and sequence, which is sort of our calendar of events. And then the welcome video, which is really short for all of the classes. You will need to watch that to answer a question on your syllabus quiz. But I'm glad you're watching this one. You'll find that watching the videos is really going to help with getting things done. And in Ravel, you'll see a lot of videos. So they'll help you with that, too. In our course, the first module is the setup section, and that's because we have some things that we need to install and get set up. So please read through all of the policies and questions and things that you will see. Oh, this discussion, we've moved that to Discord, right? So we, we don't have that discussion anymore. So you can go to Discord to ask those questions. Now, the things that are important, first of all, in this page that says set up required software options, I'm just mentioning to you that there are so many different versions of the Java Development Kit and different software to use for developing with Java available that it can be kind of a problem for us to be consistent. So in our class, I will standardize on JDK 8 with NetBeans, and that's pretty much the same thing that they use in the Ravel videos. So that's why that one is available. Now you are welcome to explore and try some of the other IDEs. Remember you're taking a risk though, so I'm always willing to help you with a Zoom session where we can see what's going on and try to get your particular configuration customized. Now the next screen is a link to the instructions. So if you click on that, you'll see the instructions for getting the JDK and getting NetBeans and how to use NetBeans on OSX. And these are a little bit older of releases, so they should go pretty smoothly. <clears throat> These instructions continue on explaining to you how to create a project and that can really help a lot and syntax errors and they tell you a little bit even about debugging programs and that might be beyond some of your interests at this point, but it's very helpful information. So if you want to standardize and use the same version of everything, that the Ravel videos and I use um, just follow these instructions. Now, if you've noticed, I'm just clicking next through this module, and then I can see all of the information that's contained in the module. Now, we need to create our Hypergrade accounts, so click on this link, go to Hypergrade. You'll say that you want to register, and then you'll enter in your OTC email and say that you're a student and enter a password. When you click Create Account, you're going to be prompted to enter our class code that's available here, our course code, and the code that you received either from the bookstore or from Hypergrade if you bought it online. So it is a pretty simple registration process, but you will need both of those codes available. Um, let's continue on then, get that account set up as part of our setup. Now, Revel is the product that we'll be using. It does have your ebook associated with it, but it has a lot of other things too. So you'll, you'll really like using it. Now, there are some instructions here. It is part of our auto access program, so it should um, enable for you relatively seamlessly. We'll see if that's true or not. I'm going to click next and we'll go look at Revel here in a minute. Now, the, the continuation of our setup module, here's several websites that you might find very helpful for Java. And of course, there are many, many, many more. And then finally, a summary for our setup module. I'm going to go back to our module section and look at that. 
now that I've gone through all of the setup module, I can roll it up if I like, kind of get it out of my way. So in week one, the first assignment here is your reading assignment, and it is in Revel. Now, if you click on this link here in Canvas, it's going to take you to this screen if you haven't linked your account yet. It's doing that to me because I'm using um, the test student in Canvas. So we should see, let me leave the student view and I'll show you what it looks like for me if I'm not in that mode. What I see is our Revel class. So I'm gonna open that. And I'm greeted with this um, pretty Inca scene or something of a beautiful terraced garden. I'm gonna to change to student view though, and hopefully this looks like what you see. Now in Revel, you can see there are two assignments created right now. The first one is your week one reading assignment. So if you click on this assignment, you'll see all of this content that I'd like for you to view. Of course, there may be videos in there. And then there is a sample little quiz in here that asks you to write a short program and the programming exercises from the book. Now, whenever you're looking at that, this Rebel content, it's all completely optional. So no points are gonna be taken from any of this, but it's gonna help you to do well. All right, so that's the reading. Now, the other assignment is the same chapter, but it's all of the other interactive things like quizzes and programming projects and things like that. So that's how I'll split up our Revel work. For each week, you'll have an assignment that is your reading assignment that will be due on Friday, and then you'll have an assignment that will be all of the hands-on practice and quiz type activities that will be due on Sunday. Now again, these due dates are just for your convenience to keep you on track, there will be no points assessed from Ravel, okay? So Friday night reading, Sunday night practice. But it's all available all the time, even if the due date passes. Okay, so what else is in Ravel? Well, it's got some good stuff. Um, performance is your grades, and since we have everything set to zero, there won't be much meaningful there. Highlights and notes gives you an opportunity to write notes that are specific to certain content. So give it a try, see if you like it. The table of contents is a link to our actual textbook in an ebook format. So looking at the textbook in this view, you don't get um, the interactive activities and programming assignments that you do um, looking at it through the assignments view. So it is a little bit different. So if I look at chapter one here, you'll see we have all the same content. It's just not set up in the same way. So as you use Ravel, you might run into some questions, let me know. Um, I think you'll really, really like it. The last link here is the glossary. And so of course that just gives us um, all of the terminology that is in the textbook in a glossary type format. All right, now you're gonna have some questions as you go. So just give yourself a chance to explore because you do have a lot of material available in our course. And um, I know that you've been watching videos and the first time I posted this video, it had no audio. And I can assure you the second time was not good either. So third time's a charm, hopefully this video will work. And in the same way, if you have any problems, just let me know because I wanna help you with it, but I can't help you unless I know that um, you need help, which is great. So again, I look forward to working with you this semester. Thanks.